Welcome once again. In the previous videos, we have talked about various HTTP methods, and in this video, we are going to talk about GraphQL. GraphQL is becoming more popular compared to REST API these days. This is because GraphQL offers the ability to define precisely the data you want, which is the cutting edge advantage over traditional REST API endpoints. Well, if you have not watched our introductory videos of API Tester, which is a mobile application from where you can make the request, then you should go to the description and find the links. And if you have already gone through, then I would tell you that this application has built-in support for GraphQL. So, with the API Tester app on your mobile device, you can send GraphQL queries in the request body. You can use GraphQL variables. You can use GraphQL content type headers. and you can browse the graphql api docs in this tutorial we'll be using https graphql0.almancy.me to try various graphql requests so we click on the docs and select any query for example this user one we see that we can query these values like id name username email address etc from this api if we further expand the address we can see that street city zip and geographical coordinates information is also there so further on clicking on geo we see that it is also having longitude and latitude information now let us build a graphql request in api tester so we create a new request by tapping on this plus icon on the top right corner and then we select the method as graphql and the graphql request creation screen will open now enter the endpoint url so in this case we are putting graphql0.almancy.me api and now if we go to the documentation from here we see that all the queries and mutations supported as we saw it on the web ui so mutations allow you to modify the server side data and it also returns an object based on the operation performed it can be used to insert update or delete the data so if the request needs an authentication token uh, those can be provided by opening the settings tab we can select o auth in the auth section and then place your uh, personal token here in the access token field now we need to prepare the request body so here in the body we need to pass the query so let us put a valid query here note that i have not put all the parameters here because i am fetching only id name email and geographical coordinates here so after filling in the query here let us now run it by clicking on this play button now here we see the response has fetched only the things which we have queried now if i modify the query and let's say we remove this email and we also remove uh, one of the geographical coordinates let's say we remove the longitude so after making these changes let us again run it by clicking on this play button now we see the response is not having email and longitude so this way this graphql is very much flexible based on the query it returns the responses so that is all i hope you find the application useful i would love to see your comments you can tell me whether you like this or not if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so i would love to see you again goodbye till then